Hey guys, Kevin here, and here I have the TAC Life Digital Multimeter. I've been looking to get something like this for a while, just to test batteries and older equipment, check things are working. Still something I'm kind of learning about, but you know I'm quite keen to get started on it. So let's see what's in the box. Quite simple packaging as you can see. So we have the unit itself. Get everything out, pile it out. Nothing else there. So we have instruction manual. We have test leads. Oh, they've actually thrown in a nine volt battery. That's good. You know, a lot of this, you know, these kind of things they don't actually throw in a battery. And then we've got the unit itself. It's there. Looks quite good. It feels good in the hand. Yeah, it's quite um the way it's positioned is quite good. So you can see you've got the, the parts down the bottom for the leads. Oh so that makes a kind of clicky sound there. So it comes with a two-year warranty and it's got apparently it's got certain features such as if I can show you that there. Um it's got features low battery indication, overload protection, short circuit protection, continuity test, frequency test, diode test, all power off, backlight hold mode and it's got all the different uh, voltage and current specifications there as well. So looks like there's a little screen protector on there as well which is good. So I'm going to grab a screwdriver and then we can check this out and see how it performs. Okay I've got the 9 volt battery in, just need to screw it back in. I've been looking at the manual kind of seeing what everything does as well so hopefully I can explain things a little bit better. I noticed a few cool things about it already. I'll screw this back on, I'll show you. So you can see here, this is flat open, and the idea is simple. You can set it up. Well, I can set it up, but yeah, you can set it up like that. That's pretty cool. The other thing I found was that if you look at the back here, there's actually spaces for the leads. So um, I'll show you that in a second as well. The idea is that you do that that you keep it behind the multimeter. I think that's quite a cool idea. And the caps have fallen off there, but you will notice there that there are some caps. Um, you can see them there. So you can just put this on when you're not using it. But what we're going to do is take these off and connect them. Now, I do apologise if my knowledge of this is a little bit rudimentary, but, you know, it's been, oh God, God knows how many years, at least 20, or well, probably like 23 or 24 years since I did my physics hire. Um, yeah, 21, 22 years. Okay, so the black one goes to the comm as far as I know, the red goes to the one at the end, and it says like volts and stuff, volts and current. So, turn it on. Just to quickly go through all the things here. First I will point out here, which will be useful, is that put it on. Um, if you hold the, this one here, it's the brightness button. It looks like when I do that it's too bright for the camera. But for me that looks fantastic. That's you know how I would have it. So we've got direct current, we've got alternating current, we've got resistance, we've got this was the one I wasn't sure about actually. This one here, um, it says here it's for diode and continuity. So it's a diode check. It's not something I've ever used before. We've got uh, hertz and then we've got current. Now when you've got the current inside, you've got it um, micro, milli, no, no, amp. When you've got here, if you push the function button, it changes from DC. So it changes from direct current to alternating current. Now I'm, I'm still learning a lot of this stuff as far as how I'm going to be using this. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be reading articles about it, watching videos about it and trying to learn more about it. But there are some things I do remember. So if you touch this, it should go down to zero. There we go, we're at zero. 
So what I want to do is check some batteries that I've got. These are the low power batteries that I use. They're really cheap. They're like 10 for a pound. I use these for the Wii U. And using this will help me show you what these buttons at the top do. So it's a 1.5 volt battery. I'll get this better in the shot for you guys. Can you see that a little bit better now? Yeah, it's a little bit better. So it's a 1.5 volt battery. So it should get around that. And we're actually getting more than that. We're getting about 1.63 there. If I can hold it. I'm not holding it right there. Looks like you really need to get the contacts right. If, if it's moving around, obviously, it's going to be... Um, right, there we go. Yeah, if you're moving around, you're going to get you know quite a variable uh, value being put down there. So we've got... This is a AAA. That's another 1.5 volt batteries. Actually, all the batteries that I've got lying here are 1.5 when I look at it. <laughs> Apologies, I was hoping to show you a 9 volt, but... I've, I can't remember, I think my 9 volts actually in something that I've got, probably my sound meter. Um, okay, so just taste the same again. Should be 1.5 volts. This is quite useful because, you know, especially when, see when you're using the Wii and things like that, you don't know, you know, if, if the batteries are dead or not. So just to show you these two, uh, the buttons now, I showed you this one. This was the brightness. And the first button is the function button. Changes from direct current to alternate current. You can see that a little bit better there. So you've got your function, your brightness, and you've got your switch. Apparently there is a low battery indicator too. Really like how this feels in the hand. It's really kind of, it's like plastic rubber almost. It's like rubber, but it's kind of plastic but feels rubbery, if that makes sense. I know it sounds confusing, but I really like the way it's, it's made. Um, okay, so what I want to show you now is the hold and the max. So I've got my cheap 10 pens battery, good old Panasonic. I've been using these for years with the Wii. So what I want to do is check here. Now the hold button, as it suggests, it will hold a value. So if I can get that there, oh, you can hold a value like that. So that's the idea, that you would hold the value, once you get a value, you'd hold the value. So we go, and then you can see the value. But, I think that can be difficult sometimes if you're using these leads. A more practical idea is to use the max. Now when you press max, you will see max at the top. And sorry, I should have showed you that, when you press hold, there's a little H there. When you press max, it says max, and what it will do now is you don't have to press the hold button. You just put it there, and it'll keep going up, and it will only show you a different value now if it does find one that's higher. So if you defined a higher value, it would display that. I think that's more practical, you know, in practice. It's going to be much more useful to use that than it would be to use the hold button because you're sitting here like that with the leads and then you're going to have to use your other finger. But there are, there's obviously situations where you want to hold a value as well. I don't know what some of these other ones do as far as the practical applications about this. I'm, I'm just kind of getting back into this. But I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Tac Life DM03. I think this is quite a good little multimeter. It's available in the UK for around £14.99. And I assume it's about similar price in the USA, about $15-$20. I think this is quite good, I'm quite pleased with it, and you know, it's not something I'm going to be using every single day of the week, but it's the kind of thing that when you do need it, it's going to be very, very useful. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little look at this. Again, this has been the Tag Life Digital Multimeter. You know, I'm just learning these things, but I think it's quite good, and I think I'm going to, you know, get a lot of use out of this, you know, at one point in the future, sporadically, perhaps. Any questions, please let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you've got a multimeter yourself or you know more about this, please do leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching.